The thing is, I didn't even do that for you, for for myself. I did that for you guys. Oh, I like this. I really like this adapter. Just let me let me just uh I have a Q start Morgana who can't do her own camps now. My Blitzcrank used flash, my Morgana used flash. I'm leashing in a matchup I don't want to leash in. Okay. Great start. We're up to the races, guys. I'm not even in game to get me out of game. This is what I'm here for. Listen, if if at the very least I don't climb. I want to show you why the fuck it is that is not happening. Oh my god, I can't even sprint level 2 now. It's so depressing. Maybe I can. This guy's not hitting. Yo, you want to tag on some minions? What the fuck? What's the actual fuck, man? He had two Targon stacks and could get level 2 advantage and instantly fucking one-shot them. Like, he could get Targon... Okay, right, whatever. I'm not going to do that. What do you think about the uh, Heart Seal song? I kind of like it. At the beginning, I didn't really like it, but it grew on me. Like every fucking Riot song ever. I do still think, not that it's relevant to fucking compare them, but I do still think that KDA was a lot better. I went back and listened to some of the KDA songs, like, after, and I was like, holy shit, KDA was actually insane. I don't know, man. I'm so fucking bored. It's just not possible to play. My win condition was Blitzcrank bailing me out, and uh, we went to two flashes level one, didn't even land any of the CC, and then we fucking don't get Targon stacks in the wave to get fucking two and hook them. At least this wave didn't crash, so. Best world song? I don't know. I really like Warriors. I really like Warriors. These are Masters players, don't expect much from us. Bro, I am in Master. I am one of them. I am one of you guys now. How can I complain? But, like, the difference between me being a Master player and these does not seem, like, real. Rise. I don't. I don't even like Rise that much. The video is amazing, but I don't like the song that much. Once it's a ruin, I can legally loot it. Rise, rise, make them remember. I don't know. I didn't like it that much. Rise! He's <laughs> just screaming in the chorus, man. Brother, like, calm down. My man needs some carbohydrates in him or something, bro. He's got a keto diet and he's like this. For the recording, like the recording of that song, they put the fucking lead singer on a keto diet. So he really fucking felt it when he was singing Rice. You know what I mean? He needs those fucking carbs in him. Now my Blitzcrank is piss roaming. My wave is slow pushing away. I just... 
It's okay, man. I just found my keys. I'm Ezreal. That's what my champ does. Thank you, Rolls Royce. What the fuck is going on? Thank you so much. Hold up that Q. What, mine or the Blitzcrans? Because he wanted the uh, cannon for the Cargons. I mean, we have a wave. Play in the wave. Play in the wave. Like, why were they going to back off here, man? <laughs> I, how am I in this elo? I can't. Like, I just got a double kill and I'm angry. You know you're in a fucked up elo when you get a double kill and you're angry. They were gonna run the fuck away. Is it true that Morg Jungle is bugged? I don't know, but I've seen like three in a row so far, so. Hi, first time here. Found you on YouTube channel. Oh, I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your stay. I'm losing my mind a little bit, I'll be honest with you. Where is Blitzcrank going? Why was Blitzcrank running the fuck away? Okay. Oh, let's go, he popped off. No, he landed one just there. He landed two, actually. Okay, let me just not- let me just stop being hypercritical of everything I see. Because that'll just make me more and more frustrated. Oh, whatever, man. I'll just hold this wave and freeze. Nothing else I can do. Ain't no way. That vein is fucking pissed. That boy's fucking pissed. That's the new uh, cover of uh, That Boy's a Liar. <laughs> I'm allergic to caution. Do you remember when the like lead content um, meta was like making goofy ass covers of songs? Maybe I snipe you. You can't, bro. I'm, I'm, you need a yeah, exactly, bro. You need a plat account after this. I legit can't win a game, dude. But yeah, do you remember when it was just like shitty music covers? I mean, they weren't shitty. They're actually low-key kind of fire. Instalock, yeah. Instalock, Bad Administrator, um, the Yordles. Like, they had some slappers, low-key. That actually came from 600. Too bad. The LBM MMR stays the same, no? You don't, you don't want to be a part of this, Nolte. I promise you. You just, you just fucking left league. Don't, like, I promise you, you don't want to be a part of this. You really don't. My guy went for the fucking montage Pythagoras hook. You ever seen the Pythagoras hook? You tried to hit him with one of them. He's cooking. On kitchen motherfucking nightmares. This ulti is irrelevant, but let's do it anyway. I don't know what that ping means, and I'm really terrified to find out. Fox Sheen on that war. Just, just let me get the plates. Don't hook. Don't even hook. I guarantee if we hook, we lose. Rest is short, guys. I have full faith. I'm going to get back to Challenger for the end of the season. 
I mean, you guys don't... Do you guys know? But the season fucking ends in January. January! There's 70 days! Or 69. I think 69 days. Y'all got time to get where you want to get to. This Tristana is 69 CS in 11 minutes, 5 deaths, and has a shutdown. Just to make it make sense, bro. What, really? Yeah, they're making it 3 splits now, Rin. So the season ends in January. If you click on the rank tab, you can see it yourself, the exact timing. It's 69 days until the season ends, so climbing now is irrelevant. I could decay like 4 times over and it'll still be... Give me that bad boy. I saved my ulti to the last hit. It's really important that you do that as an AD carry. I could decay four times over and you'd still be able to have, to have time to get back to Challenger, legit. There's no preseason now. So the first split of season 14 is just going to ship with all of the changes. Did you know that? There's no preseason now. We just jump right into the fucking all of the preseason like, pre changes. Where the fuck is Vayne going? Disaster. Legit. But listen, if everyone is just as complete, like, mind fucked because they have no idea what's going on. Then it's balanced, you know? It's true, bro. Like, how can it be unbalanced if you just completely... Mi Everyone is completely mindfucked at the start of the season. But uh, I'm going to be building, like, fucking Radiant Virtue Ezreal or some shit. I don't know. Bonk. That Jace fuck your mom or something, bro? Why? Why did he deserve that? What is happening? This is what I mean. Solo queue doesn't make any sense. This game was like zero and six at the beginning or some shit. Whatever. Full tank edge with grass? Maybe, maybe. Some chefinations might happen. This is the one thing I despise proc Trini on that. Oh, never mind. I didn't proc. Thank you. Um, is directly in the 1v1 against a lot of champions. Unless you have prio. You can never, you can never contest. You can never contest them. I need to shut the fuck up when I'm playing one day. You can never really contest them. Because you need to, um... You need to play with them farming instead of you. Like they're trying to last it. You get what I mean, bro. I can't speak English while I'm playing. So like right now, she wants to walk up in this wave. I don't want to fight her in an isolated 1v1 here. So I'm just going to play as though she's... What in the terrorism? In game, of course. Okay, well, that happened. What do you mean? I season 13, season 13, season 13, season 13, season 13, season 13. Season 13, season 13, season 13, season 13. Season 13. I, I legit, like, Vayne is flanking here. They're four-man diving between two towers to kill one Blitzcrank. Malphite is side lane split pushing, getting a fucking turret. Mid lane is dead. Like... I'm gonna die overstaying for this wave because they're just gonna five-man me because they're literally playing like apes. I have a feeling they're all around her. Exploration runs in my family. Or not. Freak season, bro. Freak season. Is this the elo I'm looking up to? It's so funny when people come to me saying, like, oh my god, I want to hit master. And like, absolutely no disrespect to those people. Of course, if you want to hit master and you hit it and you think it's a great achievement, that is a great achievement for you. Um, Maybe I shouldn't have added for you there. But when I think about the caliber of what master is really capable of, it's like, I can't believe that's something that people aspire to be, you know? Yeah, I, I shouldn't have said for you. Yes, Ghost Vayne, you're so cool, man. That would have hit. He's belittling my achievement. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm saying be proud of yourselves. 
But I also want you guys to realize that I'm sure you can do better. When you look at this, just tell me you can't do better. Well, not that maybe you can just immediately do better, but like, surely you want to do better than this, you know? I could hit mid tower here, but... Right, I should have hit mid tower, yeah. I'm just gonna zone the wave. Oh, hello. Absolutely no damage to the Spectre's Cowl Thrift Shop Poppy that they got on the enemy team with every fucking possible component he could build in the game. We've got Macklemore on the enemy team. How does he have this? You have. Bro. He has 110 CS in fucking 16 minutes. I mean, seven kills, sure, I get it, but I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. Maybe he got shutdowns? He didn't even get plates on mid. Freak season. I would just like to say, I started League a month and a half ago, I started the nine, and now I'm high plat, low emerald games. I know this games are getting progressively more toxic the more I climb. I guess it makes sense, people are more competitive. And their egos climb with their elo. But usually, ego outscales elo. Is that Poppy or Jace? Man, Vayne is just side lane spit pushing, and we're going to fucking lose. Yo, Morgana, you want to hit that, bro? Ego outscales Elo, wise words, legit, bro. Actually, low key, that's one of the best things I've ever said, I think. The wisdom coming out of my mouth. The Sally Split Push has always been annoying because somehow they get away with it because it's too chaotic and low elo and there's so much levels of fun. Yeah, and Hullbreaker makes it really uh, unfun to play against a lot. I also started a month ago, I started in Silver Form. People say, I can say people are just super toxic, sad. Yeah, they are. League is one of the, it, it really is one of the most toxic games. Every game is toxic because people are hyper competitive, right? That's just the nature of the beast when you get into any competitive endeavor. But in League, it's really disgusting, man. It's really disgusting. That's a tweet right there. Loki, it is. Ego outscaled Elo. Wait, I should tweet that right now before it gets yoinked. Whatever. Who cares? You can take it. Put the rights on. Yeah, I want the lights on. Perfect game for once. Uh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. What did I mean by that? No, ego outscales elo. And the higher you go, people's egos get bigger than their elo. Morgana's going off the perkies right now. Okay, they're fucking up in the ante, bruh. Reverse Dunning Kruger effect. I wouldn't even say it's that. Because they know their shit. They're just insecure. It's like it's like insecurity goes like skyrockets. I'm not bad at League. I swear to God. I'm fucking so good at fucking League of Legends. I'm better than you. I'll run it down to fucking prove it, you bitch. I, I, I don't know what this voice is, but... Oh my god, that was actually incredibly close. Oh, 
No, 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 no. no these, these cannons be acting up today. I swear. I swear these cannons be acting up today, bro. All right, well, if I can't carry now, then I am officially washed up. Famous last words. As a YouTuber, it's nice to finally catch a stream. I appreciate it, man. Guess what? My best YouTube video is coming out tonight. It's an edited VOD. A lot of people, they didn't like the full gameplays. I mean, there are a lot of people that do. So I'm going to keep a balance of both. But there's a really good edited video coming out tonight. My boys on stream watched it as a preview yesterday. And it was a complete slapper. Everyone really liked it. So good video coming out tonight. I do need to update the thumbnail for it, though, before it goes live. Otherwise, it's not going to be worth it. Yo, hook the bitch. I predicted she was going to tumble there. The Z axis fucked my brain, bro. The Z axis fucked my brain. It would be nice if the videos on YouTube could show minimap. Yeah, that would be ideal. Unfortunately, my PC is too shit to do dual recording and streaming at the same time. Um, but maybe I'll record YouTube videos separately to my stream one day. That would be the plan. Yo, Jaro with the fucking Prime. What's up, bro? How you doing? The enemies in the back? I'm not doing anything. This is just stat checking right now. As I said, Ezreal when he's ahead is one of the most oppressive champs in the game. Like, he's really OP when he's ahead. The difference in, like, champion quality of Ezreal when he's ahead and behind is, like, absurd. It's not even close. You need exams on me down terrible? I believe in you, brother. You got this. I don't know who's going to clean this wave. It's probably going to be Poppy. And, yeah, I can't kill her. You know, if you don't know what to build, you can never go wrong with just a million core fields. Like, core field is the best item in the game for Ezreal, no cap. Just build a core field, it'll build into something you fucking want. Like, who knows? Black Cleaver, Hydra, Shojin, Kempunk, why not? Fuck it. Axiomark, we all know and love Axiomark on Ezreal, don't we? Whoa, Morgana! Why did that sound like an NBA? Is it NBA? Who did it? What sport did they have those announcers like that? Hello. You didn't think that would hit, did you? No, it's like, it's like, uh, not NBA, it's like wrestling, right? WWE? Hello, director. You are looking nice and... But uh, how many times are you going to one-shot me? Yeah, this is why Jace is really good into Ezreal. He just fucking hits you from off-screen. I mean, he's good into everyone, right? But the thing is, your entire kit relies around uh, outranging, right? And normally, other champions that get outranged by him, they have the added benefit of being able to actually do something if they're getting close. If I get in close, it doesn't make a difference. And I get outranged, so... What spells should I take on Vygar in Aram outside Flash? Ghost. Go fucking... PDF tank Vygar with haste and go ghost and just cage the fuck out of people. I don't know what it is, but I've like gotten to the point where I paid Aram so much. I don't even care about dealing damage and carrying anymore. I just like cooking the weirdest fucking haste builds on certain champions and just pissing people off. That's literally why I play Arams now. Why did she walk back in? Yeah, well, against Soraka, my poke is not really doing much, is it? 
I'm pretty sure I landed like 17 keys in a row there, and it just did not matter. I guess I get Kempunk. Unironically, I never get Andy Hill, but I will try it in this game. We'll see. Drag Jar is definitely an exhaust user in ARAM. No, no, no. I don't use exhaust. The only time... Okay, hear me out. Any ARAM enjoys, you might relate to this. The only time I ever end up using exhaust, like, completely on accident, is when, like, I'm fucking going for a piss or something, and I come back, and I'm like, my runes aren't sorted. I'm like, oh, fuck, 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 and I choose the auto runes, and then the auto runes have exhaust on it. And then I'm like, oh, shit, well, I have exhaust. I had a game last night I was playing against Rocket, ended up with Ravens, Hydro Kempunk, seemed like a good. Yeah, I feel like I might get some armor though. I think Frozen Heart is good in this game. These two kind of fucking one shot me. Farm numbers up. Not bad, not bad, not bad. As you'll all just flew past my window, but the thing is, in situations like that, okay guys, I want you to realize this. A lot of the time, abilities. Okay, how do I put it this way? I know this sounds troll, but when you're aiming an S ability or an ulti or a Q or whatever the fuck, <laughs> there is a 50-50 chance they will juke or they won't juke. <laughs> I know. Stupid, right? But that's true. And so, either way, wherever you fucking fire ability, it's it, you, you have to either aim for the fucking predict or if right at them. And more often than not, in instinct, in high elo, they're going to instinctively think to juke. So more often than not, I just aim straight for the juke, even if I could aim right at their face. Because if even if I aimed at their face and they did juke, it's still an equal chance to miss, right? So you, you have to fucking min-max the percentages. You have to min-max the percentages and think about, okay, this is high elo. This guy is playing a champion that has good movement and he has, like, movement speed uh, built into his kit. Uh, he's been dodging all game. You have to download his patterns and then think to yourself, okay, is he likely to juke this ulti or not? And then aim accordingly, you know?